Hello everybody, welcome back to another Halo CE modding tutorial, and today we're going to be covering uh, how to create multiple BSPs in a single Blender file, how to export them separately, how to line them up so when you transition between them with scripting and triggers, it'll be flawless and you can use vehicles. And I'll also be, I guess, doing a little bit of a little Blender-ish tutorial about how to just create the overlap area and just a quick, easy way to do it. So, here, we got all three of our BSPs, and uh, when it comes to lining them up, it's very, very easy. You literally line them up in Blender, and you pretty much have the overlap sections. The way, the way I do that, I literally just duplicate one section of the map, so this I create this little tunnel section, because when you're doing transition, transitions, you usually want it to be, you know, um, uh, a completely enclosed area, so it's hard to see any actual changes. So I just create like a little tail off off the side of the map with by extruding stuff. Um, I'll demonstrate that a little bit later, but I just basically take the uh, take the tail, duplicate it, keep it there in the exact same area, then I separate the duplication into an entire other thing and then I just keep extruding and mess around until I have a entire other map and then if I want to create another one I just create another tunnel section and repeat the process until you have enough BSPs so I think I'll just I'll just demonstrate like a quick easy overlap section right now so uh, just find a face get rid of it uh, select an edge and right now what we're doing is basically creating the uh, face of the wall. Oh man, it's still screwed up. I closed in and out of this. Why doesn't it? Yeah, it's oh man, it's it's like really fucking um like snappy. Like I can barely move. Whatever. Yeah, every every movement is like way over the top. It's not fluid at all. But anyway, basically delete a face and then create a new face like this, which is going to be the tunnel. And then all you do, you just extrude. You can extrude out. You can uh, probably put a turn in there so you can't see straight to the edge end of it. You know, make it hard to see the changes that are going to happen. And uh, that's good. And now we need to fill in. We need to fill in this entire face again um, um, remember the first video make sure the entire map is enclosed and this yeah this little hallway thing should be enclosed as well because we created we we, ba we made a new face here and then basically just extruded it out so the that face that we created is now all the way over here so that that's pretty quick and easy way to create the tunnel and now once you have the tunnel done once you're uh, happy with it um, select all the parts of it, the vertices, faces, edges, whatever you want. Select all of them. Then this is the duplication part, so shift D. Don't move at all, just click. Now, don't do anything else. Hit P, uh, separate, and then hit selection. And now we have an entire other section right here. If we go into object mode, we select BSP2. We made that little tail. And now we have the separation part. It's the exact same thing in the exact same area. So it's a perfect overlap. And now we would just name this BSP, BSP4. And now for BSP4, we can just take this face, extrude it out, and we can uh, do whatever the hell we want with this. Have, a, have an entire other BSP. That's fucked up. Ooh, oh my god, I've been, I've been like misclicking controls like absolutely crazy so far. Did I, how did I accidentally duplicate the edges? How the fuck? You get the point. Create whatever the hell you want after you do that overlap. And one more thing, in the, in the duplicated tunnel section, you're gonna have to close off, you're gonna have to close off this edge right here. So, uh, go back in here, vertices, we're gonna have to close this off select all those f to fill that in and now for it on the inside of this map again always make sure your entire map is enclosed 
Um, to fly around like this in Blender, you can hit Shift and then the Command Console key to like, it's basically like Sapien, except instead of R and F to go up and down, it's Q and E. And you can scroll to increase your speed. And then to get back to the actual like Blender mode, you just click and it'll take you right back here and then Shift, Console key, just like this. So fly around, make sure it's all completely closed off. And uh, this right here, this, this is the end of BSP2, the one we extruded from. So if we get rid of that, this face is gone. So yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty easy way to do that. And also when you're assigning when you're assigning materials, um, assign the uh, the faces inside the tunnel, the the faces that are going to be disappearing, like this one. This would be yeah, this would be BSP 2s face. We're in BSP four right now. This face right here, you want to assign this to plus sky so it's see through. All right. And, uh, oh, also, you're going to need to change the material on the next BSP. So as you can see, we're in edit mode for BSP4, but we still have the BSP2 texture because we duplicated this from BSP2. So you would just uh, get rid of that. Unable to remove. Oh, in edit mode. Okay. Get rid of that. Add a new material. Name it uh, BSP4 texture or whatever you want. Assign... all of the correct faces to that texture. And now we can see plus sky. How did I fuck that up? <laughs> okay, select all of your, all the faces that you want to have the actual map texture. This is, you know, stuff I covered in the first video. Assign those. There we go. Now, if we select the plus sky, these two faces and this face, they will all three be invisible. So, uh, I'm not going to export that fourth BSP, so I'll just uh, completely nuke it. So, get rid of that. Um, BSP2, edit in this, delete all, all of that shit. Make sure uh, we got to get rid of these vertices. Delete those vertices. Oh boy. That might get weird. Fill everything back in. Make sure. Can't see through it. Um, that shouldn't cause any errors. Yeah. And now we'll get to uh, exporting um, separate BSPs, which is not hard at all. Oh, one last thing. Um, make sure all the origins, make sure all the origins of each BSP match. So we have, we click here, the orange dot, the, the, the origin of the first BSP is uh, zero, zero. The origin of the second one, also zero, zero. And the origin of the third one, zero, zero. So, um, that is a requirement. You have to physically line them up in Blender, and the origin also has to be matched. You know, because it bases off where it is in world space off the origin, and if the origin is, like, way the fuck over here, it's gonna be weird. So make sure all the origins are aligned. And uh, now we can export them. Hopefully, uh, all these have... I think I did the correct stuff with this. Have all the um, the correct things assigned to the correct things. I should. I'll, I'll I'll find out. Anyway, to export each separately, you want to hide everything you don't want to export. So we'll export these one at a time. So we'll hide the first, uh, the second two BSPs. Go to export. Export is um, you know JMS. And then right here, you want to uncheck export hidden geometry, you know, so we don't export these two. And uh, set scale to world, world units as always, BSP, name it something, BSP1, export as JMS. And that's good. And now we go to this one. Oh, is the scale? Yeah. Um, uh, I said 
in the in the first video when the map flipped upside down, I thought that might have had to do something that may have had to do something with the origin, but that is not the case. The the thing that caused the map to flip was the incorrect scaling. So if your scale is all jacked up, go to object, apply, apply the scale, make it one. Uh, if it's not one, the map will be upside down. So the origin does not matter. It shouldn't. I, st I still don't fully understand that, but I think I finally got it. I'm pretty sure it's the scale. But anyway, uh, export your uh, second BSP, export as JMS. Um, all the correct options. BSP2. Save that. And now BSP3. Export that. Go good. And there we go, we have three BSPs. And um, we exported all three of them, so now we should have three JMS files. And I don't have any bitmaps to do, I'm not doing that, I'm just gonna do this as quick as possible. So now you'd compile all your bitmaps um, for each each uh, each one of these. You probably should have a uh, bitmap in here. I think I have an example of this, of a completed one. So models here, we got all three JMS files. Then in the bitmaps, we got a uh, a full texture for each bitmap. So you can follow the you can follow the first tutorial to see how you do this. You literally just do the exact same thing for each one, and then save the save the final texture here, and then save it as a TIFF file, 32-bit float in the actual bitmaps, and then you build the bitmaps folder. And then that's all good. But yeah. Uh, so let's get back to this one right here, and I'll just I'll just build each one of these quick. So tool tool structure levels BSP video BSP one. It should still ask for a shader, but it, it, if we don't define it, that's whatever. Yeah, it's asking for a shader. I don't care. Good, no errors. 10 kilobytes, that's 56 surface. Oh, that's the, the entire overlap section. That's probably the bulk of that. Um, tool, BSP2. Shader environment, run that again. And then do the same thing for BSP3 and 29. Oh yeah, I don't have to worry about this because I'm not gonna do the radiosity commands either because that takes a while. Even even with my uh, the little strategy of doing, of having the entire map only be one texture, it's still, radiosity still takes a while if the map is big enough, which I think I've accidentally been making huge maps. But if you set the radiosity to zero, it doesn't take too long, but yeah. All right, so now uh, go to tags. Oh no, I need to keep this open. We'll go to tags over here. Tags, levels, BSP video, all three BSP structures. We have all three shaders here, which I'm not gonna touch because there's no nothing to plug in. Now we, what is this? Radiosity, oh yeah, I, yeah. Messing around with radiosity, trying to work around it, trying to break the system, but the system broke me. <laughs> All right, uh, BSP video, I'll just add a sky in here, load it up and save it, and then we'll switch between BSPs. And um, the rest, you already I've already shown how to do in other videos. Uh, oh, we're looking for a sky. Clear afternoon, save that, boom, boom, open it up in Sapien. And now when we switch between BSPs and Sapien, they should be perfectly lined up. And nothing should be flipped upside down. If it is, then I'm going to actually just laugh at myself because that's absolutely hilarious that I still haven't figured it out at this point. And I'm kind of hoping that I didn't just jinx myself there. All right. Well, this is awkward. What did I do wrong this time? All right, BSP1, 
uh, BSP2. Oh, holy shit, it's way over here. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. So as you can see, let's just look right, right at this tunnel section. Uh, control B. Boom, perfectly lined up just like it is in Blender. And then we have this little section right here that leads to the third one. Uh, oh, uh, control B. Boom, all three sections perfectly linked. And uh, since we, what, where the, f oh, since we added the, uh, since we added the sky, um, the sky material to this face, it's invisible. So it looks like it is able to be connected to something. And we also um, have it right here. And this is going to like kill my eyes. I wonder I wonder how tiny these maps are. But this is basically the end of the video. That's, that's how you do it. That's how you get these all lined up. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, I usually want to. Yeah, I usually want to use textures and shit. Holy fuck. Let's see how tiny this is. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> there's no way we're fitting in those. Yeah, there's no way we're fitting in those. So I guess I either make the I make the map way too tiny or I make it way too big. But you get the point. So, yeah, um, that's how. Yeah, that's how you create many different BSPs. That's how you line them up, export them separately while having all of them in the same file so it's easy to line them up physically. Uh, make sure all the origins in Blender match, which is how they're able to be lined up perfectly. Part of it, the first part. And uh, make sure you make your map big enough to walk around in. That's a pretty helpful tip. And I think that's it. Yeah, you export, export and compile your BSPs one at a time. Yeah, so it's not not too crazy. The hard part's out of the way. Like just talking through all the map rules and stuff like that. That wasn't. That was the hard part. Uh, explaining this stuff isn't too much. See, so yeah, I'm gonna have to blow this up. <laughs> but you know, I'm not even gonna use this. I have a, I have a pretty uh, big one, that I have been working on. It, it's still half-assed, but I've I at least put textures on the fucking thing. Blend one. These, these BSPs are a bit too big. But yeah, look at this shit. Yeah. Got a whole... Oh, I think I'm in Sapien still. God damn it. So yeah, uh, got a bunch, still got a bunch of tunnels. This BSP took like a long time. I had to leave the radiosity running overnight. <laughs> and then, uh, then we got this one, which is like a big, I guess a big ass cliff. And then we got this pretty small one, which is still decently large. But yeah, as you can see, it's all the tunnels. Um, every overlap, every tunnel has two BSPs with the exact same tunnel. All of the origins match between them. They all, each of these have their own um, actual map material. And yeah. So yeah, hopefully that helped. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully that... Uh, improves your map making skills and now you can pretty much go as crazy as you want and still switch between bsps and do it with vehicles do it with people without having to teleport so you know make things less complex and now you can have even more fun fucking around in halo so if you made it here thank you for watching if you watch any of my other stuff thank you for watching that as well and i will see you in whatever i decide to do next time so thank you for watching